Hi everybody, welcome back to Pirates. We're in this big old trade galleon because we don't have a better ship because we keep losing our ships to Baron Raimondo. But the good news is that actually we have sacked a Spanish town and converted it into a French one? Yeah, look at that. We converted Margarita into a French town uh, and it was fantastic. And we also acquired a ruby ring from there as well, apparently. And we were promoted to a fresh count. Sorry, a French count. Not well, and a fresh one too. We are technically a fresh count. Um, maybe fresh Prince of Bel Air fresh as well, uh, when you think about it. Great. Uh, we've got Caracas and Puerto Cabello here. There's Gibraltar down there and Maracaibo. Um, I don't think we really need to go to any of those places. I think what we need to do is we need to try to find a better pirate ship um, and possibly do some crazy amounts of looting, um, possibly even divide up the plunder. We might want to think about dividing up the plunder because it's looking more and more like the crew are angry, uh, they're unhappy for whatever reason, and uh, also that could be to do with the fact that we only have 25 fame points out here, and we're probably not the most notorious pirates of all time, so they feel like they can take advantage of all of that information. The bastards. What's this? Hey, look at that. Is that a Dutch something? What is that? A Dutch something? Oh, watch out. Do not hit those rocks. Tabara. It's a small Spanish... Okay, you hit the rocks. I told you not to. Jesus. We're going to lose all of our plans. Is that a brig? Because if that's a brig, I'm going to get it. Look at that. It looks a lot like... No. Did it just attack Kumana? No, it didn't. Should we just like sort of wait around here for it to come out? Because I'm sure it will at some point. No? Kumana. A poor Spanish stronghold. I mean, we have 107... 108 crew... 108? I thought we only had 107. Where did... Maybe we, a new crew member was born? Should we... um? Should we attack Kumana? And change it over? <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to... Oh my god, they have a lot of soldiers. We can sneak into town if we want to, but I think actually we should sail away. Because they are now launching cannons at our butt. Oh look, Margarita is now a modest French stronghold. Is that because we traded a lot with it? Because it didn't start as a modest one. Oh crap, right through the goddamn thing. Alright, we really need a brig. Uh, we might have to go this away to get one. Hey, what's that? Hey, what's this? Is that just a trade ship? It looks like a big trade ship. It looks like something similar to what we're on now. I mean, I don't really want to... It's a trade ship. It's the Santo Domingo. And they just left a French town. Alright, we're attacking it. Fine. We're gonna... We're, it's La Goviota. Okay, fine. La Goviota. Fine. We're going to broadside you in a major way. We're gonna follow you in. And actually, before we do that, we're gonna go... Kind of... Don't, just ignore that. Okay, we... Nothing happened on this day. The day that we decided to look at this. He's actually getting away. He's got the wind in his sails. We've also got the wind in our sails, but he's too fast. This has been quite possibly the worst. Oh, God. El Viento Bonita. We do not have an adequate ship for taking out other ships. Look at how slow we're going. We're, we're, we're fucking pirating on a trade ship. Jesus Christ. It's gone. <laughs> Damn it. That was embarrassing. Good thing that happened like out in the middle of the sea. Because seriously, if that happened within sight of a town or something, Alandon wouldn't be able to show his face ever again. What a fucking waste of time. Alright, fine. We're just going to comb the shore over here. Uh, and we're going to try to find a brig that we can take. And we might also have to get rid of our crew. Because they seem pretty mad. That's fucking another. Look at that. It's off to a Dutch trading post. It's just another... No, we don't want to attack a French merchantman, okay? We're accounting the French Navy. We can't be held accountable for... Whoa! Okay, look, Baron Raimondo is coming back. And we do not want to mess with that mother... Look at that! What a fucking cheeky son of a bitch. Look at him. Just loosen cannonballs on everything that he can see. God, I need that ship so bad. I would love to have that ship. All right. Um, so we're going pretty slow because we're in a slow ship, but also we've got another slow-ass ship in tow, too. So it doesn't help that we have to wait around for it most of the time. Let's see if we can get up to trouble down here along this coast and hopefully avoid 
That's the Spanish Raider. That's not even Baron Raimondo. Holy shit, it's just a Spanish Raider. And what kind of ship is that? Is that a brig? It's a fast galleon. Oh, they're going to Margarita. All right, we're going to go get the Spanish Raider. <laughs> Possibly. I mean, it may end in complete and utter disaster, but it's got... We, we have to do it. We can't let them take over Margarita, that's for sure. Look at that. They're actually going in. They're going to try to take back Margarita, and they're going to sail through a storm to do it. Oh, look at that little sloop. Come on, attack them. It's a French raider. Okay, fine. We're going to help out here. We're going to attack the Spanish fast galleon, the San Geronimo. Geronimo. They've got 160 men and 18 guns. We're going to have to whittle them down. Okay? And we're also, of course, working against the wind here. Uh, but I think if we do this, we're going to get into position where... Oh, we are dead. <laughs> this was not a good idea. Do we even have chain or grape shot? We don't. Okay, we're just going to have to hammer away at them. We're going to go full on in. We have 17 guns. We have to start whittling away at their guns. We're going to totally... Oh, shit. They've got the chain shot now. These fucking bastards. Look at this. Okay, 15 guns. That's worked in our favor a little bit. We got a full load. 79 crew. They got 154 crew with 12 guns. We fully loaded. Blam! Oh my god, this is actually kind of working out a little bit, which is, well, surprising to me. Look at this. Okay, we've totally crapped out their sails and everything. Uh, we don't want to sink it, because we actually want the boat. Uh, and, well, with 141 crew, I'm not sure if we really want to tussle with them either, but it looks like they're coming into tussle range. We might be able to get one more little volley. Oh shit, we have sunk it. <laughs> oh shit! My god, we didn't! As your ship approaches, the enemy strikes their colors. A pretty pile of golden plunder yours for the taking. I can't believe it. One of the Spanish crewmen is a skilled sailmaker who can make sail repairs at sea. He's quickly persuaded to join our crew. That's fantastic. It's Mr. Smee himself. Whoa, my god. 945 gold pieces. Holy shit. And we managed to keep it as well. It's like really, really damaged. But crap, we got a fast galleon. That's got to be good, right? Just like arm it to the teeth with guns and everything. We need 47 of our 59 available crew to keep her sailing. Fucking no problem. All right, a fast galleon. All right, we need to check our status. Uh, we want to make this our flagship now. The San Geronimo. Oh man, what a name. And look at that. It's got grape chain and it's got the cotton sails as well. And it's notably faster as well. Holy shit. All right, let's get into Margarita. We're gonna make some repairs because we literally have like... Is our dude fixing the sails? It really doesn't look like he is. I think the sails are just like beyond repair at this point. Look, it's just like little scraps of sail hanging off. All right, well, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get some fresh sails so that this guy has like a fighting chance at fixing the sails at any given time. And also... Oh man, that was close. That was crazy and also close. All right, let's go consult with the shipwright first. Actually, let's trade with the merchant first and see what he's got. Uh, sugar for four gold uh, is awful. Spice for 10 gold is pretty bad. Goods for 10 gold. I mean, this is all shit that we can buy off him. I mean, I don't really want to sell 36 tons of sugar for four gold. But at the same time, I think I might have to because we just really need to offload this stuff. It's a total waste, but we're going to offload it all anyway. Uh, because we don't want to have, like, all of this food and stuff. Because we're going to get rid of all these boats, right? We're going to get rid of all this food, too. We're going to keep 60 tons, and we're going to have 19 guns, okay? Uh, and then we're going to go to the shipwright, and we're going to sell these other boats. But we're going to repair the San Geronimo. For zero gold. It was only the sails that were fucked up, if you can believe that. Uh, we're going to upgrade iron scantlings as well for 450 gold, for sure. Awesome. What does this actually do even? I can't remember. And we're going to sell the Hispaniola for 600 gold. And we're also going to sell the El Viento Bonita for 600 gold. And now we have like kind of a cool pirate ship. Maybe one that doesn't pack as much of a punch as I would like. But still, the San Geronimo is now our flagship. And I think we're in good shape. Okay, perfect. We've, uh, we can go visit the tavern. We probably actually want to divide our plunder now at this point because the crew is unhappy and we can just start from scratch with our really cool new ship. We can gather a new crew. It'll be great. All right, fine. With great anticipation, the loot is divided among the crew. Each man eagerly takes a small fortune of 154 gold as his share. 
you'll be able to keep your flagship San Geronimo as journeyman captain. Your 10% share of loot comes to 1,805 gold. Holy crap, sounds good. Your health is good. And as the months pass, you quickly become bored. Uh, we'll continue as a journeyman captain and we'll send these unhappy salty dogs on their way. And we'll get new, very happy salty dogs to replace them. Excellent. Let's visit the tavern. New salty dogs, 41! Oh my god, welcome aboard, you magnificent bastards. Come on. Great. A mysterious traveler offers to sell you a golden cross, a land, and this will improve relations with the Jesuit missionaries and can be yours for only 1,050 gold pieces. Do I care? Really? I mean, I might as well. I've got the money. Fine. I think we have a ruby ring as well that we can give to our one true love in Tortuga. It's rumored that the Fama, bound for Martinique, is carrying over 1,000 gold. I believe she's a Spanish brigantine. Whoa, the barmaid whispers. Okay, perfect. We are here, uh, and we are able to intercept that ship coming from Fama. That's fantastic. The bartender scratches said, the evil Baron Raimondo? Last I heard, he had left Caracas and was headed in the direction of Nombre de Dios. I have no idea where... Oh, shit. He's all the way over here now. All right, fine. We're going to go track his ass down eventually. Let's talk to the governor and see what he has to say. Where Our dear Count Aladdin, please come in. As you know, we are at work the evil problem. Spanish, as usual. Like understand me. that recently you captured a Spanish fast galleon, and there's a new governor in Margarita. Excellent. The king will be pleased. Someday you might be promoted to Marquis. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. That's right. I forgot about you. You're the governor's daughter in Margarita. Is your actual name Margarita? Maybe. How nice to see you again. Yeah. Count Aladdin, I understand you're quite a successful young swashbuckler. I've always dreamt of wearing a flashing ruby ring or sparkling diamond necklace. Perhaps you shall come upon one in your travels. Well, actually, toots, I've got a ruby ring for you. Oh my goodness, you shouldn't. Well, okay, I'm overwhelmed. Oh my god, I believe you have a sister who's been missing for many years. The evil Spaniard, Baron Raimondo, has information, okay. Um, he is traveling to Nombre de Dios on Fast Galleon San Pablo. So he's got a Fast Galleon as well, and so do I. I thought Baron Raimondo had a better ship than mine, but actually it turns out it could be the same ship as mine. All right, fine. Whoa, oh shit, look at this thing, it's crazy. All right, here we go. We're going after him. It's the Brigantine Fama with eight guns and 89 men. We have 24 guns and 81 men. This shouldn't be a problem. We have like all the, fuck me. I did not mean to do that. All right, 81 men. Please reload all the guns that I didn't mean to actually fire off all the same. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, look at this. Okay, he's down to 73 crew with eight guns, and we're in a really fast ship, and we ha should have no problem catching up to him. We should have probably gone for the chain shot, because actually he might slip away now, but luckily we've got all of the wind in our sails now, and we can get into range with chain shot, slow him right down. Look at this, we are in range. We're gonna broadside this son of a bitch. Pew, 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 pew. There. I hope you don't like having sails, because it looks like all of your sails are ripped up. Not from that shot, though. <laughs> it's trying to be dramatic, but obviously it didn't quite work. Is he going to surrender? Nope, he is not. We are in for an sword fight. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, God. Jump. Okay, thrust. All right. We're already at a little bit of a disadvantage, but we should be gone. Fine. I'm going to jump. I'm going to thrust. I'm going to chop. I'm going to fucking do this one, too. There you go. Up the stairs you go, you son of a bitch. Jump. Yes. Thrust. A big chop. He's he's managed to dodge that somehow. Jump. Okay, great. A big thrust. A huge chop. Oh, great. God, that was much better. Look at our landing. I mean, he does not have a queer ass anymore. Uh, but we may be able to get one again. That would be nice. Holy shit, we've done it. Over a thousand gold in Booyan. Look at that. 1,088 gold pieces plundered, mates. We've done it. And look at all these extra guns. Holy shit. You want to take 32 tons of spice? Oh, God. We left without food. I can't believe it. Well, we've managed to get some food anyway. Uh, well, if we need 15 of our 55 available crew to keep her sailing. Uh, do we want to keep a brig? I don't think we do, actually. Uh, we can keep it to sell it for a little bit of extra money. But actually, I don't even think we want to... We're just going to sink her. We're just going to sink this little brig. I just don't even want it. There, fine. It's gone. 
Fucking sweet. We sunk it. Oh, look at this. It's a pirate hunter. Oh, I see. Look at this. Oh, shit, we have to, like, avoid all of these. Whoa, my God. All right, fine. Little, little ducking and dodging, but it's managed to work out. Now we're going really fast. We got 10 months worth of food. We got 73 crew. We're going to go stop into some ports uh, and get some more crew. And then I think we might be able to actually... Whoa, it's a treasure ship. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Look, we got the port here, but a treasure ship? Definitely. The Spanish treasure galleon, the Barcelona. All right, fucking Barcelona. It's time to get some. Look at this. 34 guns and 114 crew on this thing. We're a little bit outnumbered gun-wise, but we should be able to actually get a nice, massive... Fuck me. Volley into... Jesus Christ! That thing packs a real punch. Okay, fine. We now have to, like, do one of these moves in. Okay. And we might need to switch over to the grape shot. We're gonna... Sw we're out of range for the grape shot. If you can do that. Okay, let's get into range for the grape shot. We're losing some dudes, but we need to start pegging away at some of their dudes. All right. Their dudes are going down big time. We are taking a couple of hits. We might need some repairs, but let's take more of their dudes. All right. Fine. We probably can board them now. I think they probably had enough at this point. And we're sailing directly into the wind. Hilariously. And now they can just keep smashing away. We've lost, like, a whole bunch of guns. All right. Fine. We definitely have the advantage, though. So we're just going to steer it right in. Ramming speed. Mr. Spock, please don't sink our really cool pirate ship. And we have to have another sword fight with the captain of this thing. We want to probably parry and uh, possibly parry again. Go for the chop and maybe for the sweep as well. Shit, yeah, that was a sweet sweep indeed. We'll go for the parry, the chop. I think actually that was perfect. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Another captain in the drink. Courtesy of Alandon, the greatest treasure hunting pirate in the world. The evil Baron Raimondo was seen in the Caracas, but set sail 248 days ago in the direction of Nombre de Dios. Okay, great. We've actually managed to get some information. Your courage has impressed the enemy. An eager group of 26 sailors volunteered to join your crew. Welcome aboard, lads. Oh my god, look at all these guns. Look at all the spice and luxuries, and look at all that gold we've just managed to get to. My god, okay, fine. Uh, we have a treasure galleon with 140 tons that we could just like tow behind us and take all this stuff, but it's gonna need 36 of our 54 available crew to keep her sailing. Fine, we'll hang on to it for now, uh, and then we'll try to sell it off. That was quite the find, actually. All right, we have to find somewhere that we can. All right, we're gonna go up to Curacao. I think so, because that's a safe Dutch port, because we have been really just slamming it to the Spanish down here in a major way. Oh god, stand and fight. It's a pirate hunter. Come on, you come on, you pirate hunter. Get off my jock. I got like a million guns. I'll sink you, no problem. Look at that, he's gone. Shit, not Navarra. All right, Caraco. Um, did we dance with the governor's daughter up here? I'm sure we did. I think she was plain as well. Maybe we can avoid speaking to the governor when we come here. And maybe there's some upgrades to be had. Look at this. Our poor ship. We took a fucking hammering from that fucking treasure galleon. Christ. All right. We want to go to the merchant first. And we want to sell spice for, oh my god, 26 gold. That is incredible. Holy shit. Okay, perfect. We're going to get rid of uh, as many of these luxuries as we can as well, which is not actually that much. Um, and we can probably do with, uh, a little top-up of food as well. We'll get up to, like, 50, I guess. Perfect. Uh, let's go to the shipwright and, um, wow. Repair for 1,200 gold, the San Geronimo. But we can also upgrade to bronze cannon, which gives us a lot more range, which is excellent. Uh, we will need to dispose of 56 tons of cargo if we sell this ship. It's actually got copper plating and iron scantlings, which is Great, okay, fine. Barcelona, we will repair, and we will tow it around with us. Let's go to the tavern. Let's recruit 25 salty dogs. Perfect. Um, and also, let's see if this guy has, like, any crap to sell us. Oh. Oh, you've been to T -T Tortuga, have you? Did you see my future wife there? It's triple hammocks. The governor's daughter is beautiful. That is all good news. Hello. It's pretty quiet around here, sweetie. Okay, that's good to hear. Best place to sell luxuries you're hauling is a small wealthy city like Eleuthera. They're paying 33 per ton. My 
god, I can't believe it. Okay, let's go talk to the governor. Uh, even though we said we weren't going to. We are at war with the perfidious English. In recognition of your service to the Dutch crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of Major. How the shit have we managed to do that? Alright, fine. Well, we're a Major. I'm also pleased to grant you an estate of 400 acres on the outskirt of town. That's wonderful. Oh, hey. I see you again. How you doing? Pretty good? Major Landon, I understand you're quite a successful young swashbuckler. Actually, I'm a Major. If you could refer to me as Major Alandon from now on, that would be great. I've always dreamt of wearing a flashing ruby ring or sparkling diamond necklace, have you now? Perhaps you sh you shall come upon one in your travels. Um, yeah, okay, I might. Peace out. Alright, um, the king has ordered me to dispatch an ultimatum to the French city of Margarita, which will surely lead to war with France. The ultimatum will be carried by the mail runner Steer. Please ensure that this vessel arrives safely at its destination. I doubt an escort is necessary. I'm not doing that. I'm a, I'm almost a marquee in the French Navy. I'm not helping the Dutch. Where Till next time, off? Major Alandon. God, he's Dutch. Maybe if he had a beautiful daughter, I'd consider it, but holy crap. All right, fine. We've done okay today, actually. We have a much better ship. The ultimatum is being delivered. Uh, we've got some immigrants in an English boat here. It's a, um, is that called the London? No, we don't want to attack that. Um, and, uh, and we're, well, we're getting there. 118 crew. I think if we can get a couple of more, uh, crew and some more money and whatever, we can probably take on Baron Raimondo with this setup, I hope. Uh, we have to whittle him down a lot, uh, and then once he's been whittled down a lot, we can board and have a sword fight with him and rescue my sister, which will be great. All right, well, stay tuned for all of that. That will happen, hopefully, next time, and if not... Probably the time after that, or maybe even the time after that, because I suck at games. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.